Hi everyone, welcome to the scientific series of muscle. Today we are going to learn about serratus anterior. We will start with naming why this muscle called serratus anterior because it looks like serrated appearance and there is one more muscle presented like a serratus appearance behind this muscle called serratus posterior. This muscle situated front portion of that muscle so this is called serratus anterior. Next we look at the attachments. The serratus anterior attaching the anterior surface of the entire medial border of the scapula to ribs 1 to 9. The scapular attachment is more mobile attachment. So the scapular attachment called insertion and also this movement called standard movement action. The rib attachment is more fixed attachment. So this attachment called origin. And also this is called reverse mover action. First we will see the standard mover action. Standard mover action means origin is fixed and insertion move towards origin it called standard mover action. Consider the rib attachment is fixed. The scapular attachment is moving towards the rib attachment. The fibers are running horizontally. Most of the fibers are running horizontally. So if it is contract it pulls the scapula forward. It pulls the scapula forward. So it produces the movement of protraction of the scapula. The protraction action is most important when you pushing something, punching or reaching forward with your upper extremity. And also the lower fibers of the serratus anterior more stronger than the upper fibers of the serratus anterior. So when these low fibers are contract, it pulls the scapula inferior border of the scapula means inferior medial aspect of the scapula like this. So it helps to upward rotate the scapula. This upward rotation of the scapula is coupled to motion also happened with the elevation of the arm and other actions are upward fibers are contract slightly situated in a slight oblique manner so if it is contact it helps to elevate the scapula the lower fibers are running in a oblique manner in a downward so if the lower fibers contract it helps to depress the scapula and also the serratus anterior attaching the medial border of the scapula in an anterior aspect. If it is pulled in this way, it helps to open up the lateral border of the scapula in this way. It opens the lateral border of the scapula that is called medial tilt. Medial tilt of the scapula. So the serratus anterior contract it helps to produce the combined motion of protraction, upward rotation and medial tilt of the scapula and the upper fibers contract it helps to produce the elevation of the scapula, lower fibers contract it helps to produce the depression of the scapula. Now we look into the reverse mover action when the origin move towards fixed insertion that is called reverse mover action. This is happened during push up and pull up. Now we will look into the isometric stabilization function of the serratus anterior. It stabilizes the rib and scapula. The more important stabilization action of the serratus anterior to prevent lateral tilt pinging of the scapula stabilizes the scapula on the medial position. Next we will understand the key features of the serratus anterior. Serratus anterior lower 4 to 5 slips of the costal attachment directly blunt and integrated with the external abdominal oblique muscle to forming the spiral line and also serratus anterior blunt with the rhomboidus on the anterior side of the scapula this is also the part of the spiral line hope you learned something new don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching